back when he was here. He took the personnel. Like, how how is your team play differently since he was here, and, and what did he have to pick I, up? I think the uh, the biggest difference um, is that Kevin's here, obviously. Um, so uh, the, his first go round with with us, or, or you know, when when I was coach, he was here before I was, but we put him. Um, as the hub of our offense at the top of the key, ran a lot of uh, dribble handoffs with him, and, and uh, he kind of um, became a, a high post passer. And, uh, he's still doing that, but we play uh, differently because of Kevin's uh, presence, and uh, we still run the, the same sets. It just seems to look a little different and feel a little different at times, but he, uh, he adapted pretty quickly. Hey, Coach. Um, to most of the Kong fam right here, so the Colin fan, you guys' championship run is inevitable. But basketball isn't played inside simulation. It's played with human beings. Gonna, they're going to fail. And they're going to make mistakes. So how does it feel to be inevitable? How does it feel to have that perception from the outside? Uh, you know, I grew up right here in Los Angeles. And when I was 10 years old, uh, I watched UCLA beat Kentucky for the national championship. It was their 10th national title in 12 years. And at 10 years old, and as a UCLA fan, I thought, it's going to just happen forever. It's going to go on forever. And wouldn't retire after the game. And uh, I think they've won one national title since. Uh, Bob Myers led the way in, in 95. <laughs> <laughs> but um, sports are just, I mean, the reason I think people are so attracted to sports is that you, none of us know what's going to happen. Um, you, you do your best to build a good team and a solid team and uh, you hope to get some luck along the way and uh, I think we've we've done that and we've experienced the luck and and the bad luck and it's all part of it so you just you don't worry about expectations uh, just go out there and play and do your best and see if you can sustain it for a long time but everything comes to an end uh, and we're just trying to keep this going as long as we can. Steve uh, in terms of I'm sure in the moment of losing that lead the other night you're trying to process a thousand things. With hindsight,